We are right here in a poultry farm located somewhere in Oweri. I am here to teach you how to build and start up your own standard poultry farm. Poultry farm that will not give you trouble. Poultry farm that will give you peace of mind. And I want you to watch and listen attentively so that you will replicate the same thing in your own farm. Here we have a brooding pair. But when you are embarking on a poultry farm, you must have these two structures ready. <coughs> the first structure, which is the one I'm showing you, is the brooding pen. The brooding pen is a place where you hold the old chicks until they are three weeks old. If you watch the construction, you see the very interest is to ensure that this place is not exposed to enough ventilation. Because when there is enough ventilation, it will result into cold environment. And cold environment affects birds adversely, especially the old chicks. So if you watch, you see that the whole the openings here are closed completely to ensure that there is no way a bridge will enter into the pen. And this will ensure that the pen will be warm all days, all nights, despite the weather. Now let me show you inside. If you look at the inside, you see that the one there is enough space for the beds to roam freely without having issue with congestions. You look at the covering everywhere. You see the any uh, the heat source. You see the charcoal burning. You see the electricity fitted with 200 watts for heat. You watch the floor. The floor is covered with old newspapers. You see how the drinkers are positioned and they are feeding so that wherever they are, they can access feeds. This is exactly how to uh, construct and uh, prepare your brooding house. So after the brooding house, the next structure you will write in your poultry farm is the free range pen. Looking at my right hand side, you will see a free range pen. The free range pen is where you transfer the day old chicks when they are three weeks to the structure where there will be available ventilation. Now, if you watch this construction now, there is a remarkable difference. Here, the concentration is to ensure that enough ventilation is provided. And that is why it is not covered round about, unlike the other one. You see, the covering is with a wire mesh. The essence is to ensure that there is enough air for the beds. This grown beds requires enough air to live a healthy life if you deny them the, this air they will you'll be having mortalities they will choke to death we can see these are beds that are four weeks this is the blue the free range pen if you look at the way it is positioned the floor is covered with wood chippings you don't lay them on an empty floor wood chippings will always cover the floor and you see the provisions for enough ventilation the concentration the interest here is to ensure there is enough ventilation for the beds in the living bed so these are the three structures you must erect when you are doing your poultry farming of course you know by now that as soon as your day old chick arrives you first teach them how to drink water by bringing a drinker and uh, introducing glucose into the water. That water, they, they will drink it for the whole of the day. And after that day, the second day, until five days ahead, we are going to give them antibiotic and the vitamin in every water they are drinking for the next five days. Then on the 
on the seventh day you give them only water on the eighth day you give them the first vaccination which is lasota that is how you continue with the medication and ensure you feed them properly during this period thank you and god bless you